again we're back together so now we are looking at question three from the technical maths nsc may june 2024 exam so please if you haven't subscribed just make sure you're part of the family right so let's look at the question they say given that angle p is 119 and angle q is 61 degrees they say determine cosec p and 10 q all right now let's start with it firstly we see that we've got an inverse ratio there, which is cosec. Now, remember that cosec is actually cosec of theta is 1 over the sine of theta. That's the inverse of sine, right? So that means we've got 1 over, okay, so I'm taking the example that we've got. So we've got 1 over the sine of 119 so that's cosec of p 119 multiplied by the 10 of q now they did not say anything about not using a calculator so i suppose that we are actually able to do so all right um in this case we can put that into our calculator which is so that's that's 1 over the sine of 119, 109, and this is multiplied by the 10, okay, and that's the 10 of 61. Now, in this case, we get 2 point, okay, we get 2.06, that's, um, that's the value that we get, okay? Now, the question is, were we actually meant to go about it this way? Right. Now, I want you to note, if I were to go about it in another way, right, uh, let's do it this way. So that would be 1 over the sine of 119. Okay. This is multiplied by, this is sine, remember 10 is sine 61, 1061 is sine 61 over the cos of 61. Okay, so is there another way in which you could do this? Let's see. So if I have 119, that's the same as the uh, sine of one, 180, okay, minus 61, actually. So that's sine of 180 minus 61 right multiplied by sine 61 over cosine of 61 right so if i look at this if we go to if we use rather our uh, trig ratios or rather our cast diagram we know that 180 minus that's in the second quadrant sine is positive there so this actually just simply becomes 1 over the sine of 61. This is multiplied by sine of 61 over cos 61. And look at this, ladies and gents. We can cancel out sine 61 over sine 61 there. All right. And we are left with 1 over cos of 61. Okay. And 1 over cos 61. Remember the inverse of cos of cosine rather uh, is sec okay so that would be sec of 61 right they did not say how we should actually go about uh, solving this and just to prove to you that we'll get the same answer so if i took one over uh, the cosine of 61 degrees we get exactly the same answer 2.06 all right, ladies and gents, let's go to the next question. That is 3.1.2. Okay, so I think this is the uh, probably the way that they wanted us to go about uh, answering this question. However, as I said, they did not say anything about uh, not using a calculator. Right, so the second question says we take cosine squared of P plus 2Q. All right, so that would be cos squared of P is 119, okay, plus 2 times 
Q, so that's 2 times 61. Okay, so let's do this. All right, so cos squared of, right, so let's take that entire value. So that's 119 plus 2 times 61. 2 times 61. Okay, I get a value of 241. Okay, right. So is there a way in which I could um, try to work it out in an easier way? All right, I just think that uh, we are just going to have to use it. So in this case, I've got cos squared, right? Now remember, uh, 241, I think that's 180 plus 61. So 180 plus 61, okay? And this would be cos squared of, now note 180 plus 61. First of all, uh, 180 plus 61 uh, that's in the third quadrant, right? Cosine is negative there. So that would be negative the cos of 61. Okay, but remember, this is going to be squared. Okay, right. So that would give us, uh, again, cos squared of 61. And of course, we can work out what the number is there numerically. All right, and that would give us the final answer. Ladies and gents, uh, this is how we are going to go about this one. I'll see you again when we do 3.2, uh, which is really quite an interesting question. It's out of six marks, but we'll see that again next time. Shop, shop.